What's up everybody? So today is the day that I'm going to show you guys how I mix my paint on my house of color bank. Uh, quick update though, I want to tell you guys a little bit about what I got done on the, the shop car here, the SRT4. Um, the gas that came in for the intake, so I'm going to show you guys how far I got. We're still waiting on parts for it, but I just want to give you guys a quick little update of it. Like I said, it's not totally finished yet, but it's getting there. So I got the intake on, the gas that came in for it, fuel rails all buttoned up with the injectors. Um, the one thing I'm waiting on is the uh, lower, the upper charge pipe with the blow-off valve. Um, with this setup, the way the manifolds made compared to the stock one, you actually have to buy a different custom out uh, blow-off valve pipe. Um, which is the cold side um, but it's getting there it's coming along I uh, just want to keep get a little update I don't know when the pipe's gonna be here but when it gets here I'll put it get it on and I'll, I'll give you guys an update because it seems like a lot of you guys are want to know you're interested more about this car about the show the, the shop car so I just want to give a little bit of update um, and also as well as I'm gonna do a uh, they call a rewire kit for the TPS and the IAC um, I've got it buttoned up right now, but the factory computer, the harness isn't as long to reach up to here. It's about an inch or two short, so I got a rewire kit coming for both of those. That way I can mount the factory PCM back in its stock location and get it to where it can reach and make it look really nice. Because right now I just got it sit, kind of sitting here. It's just sitting there right there, so... Once that comes in, I'll finish that up, button it up, and hopefully get it back to running, get it out of here. So, but today is the day where I want to give you guys a little how-to on how to mix paint um, using the House of Color mixing bank. Get it flipped back around, here you go. So, with this House of Color mixing bank, you can literally mix any color you want. You can either go to their website uh, houseofcolor.com and actually look up the colors um, just go to their color swatches and it'll show you every color they have I think it's a little over 900 colors but for me I actually got the uh, the color decks PG01, PG02, PG03 I'll show you those real quick uh, that's these right here so when a customer comes in and they're not unsure you know they might have a color in mind or a tone they want I can literally give them these and they can go through them and it literally has you know every color you can think of uh, like I said it's it's roughly about 900 colors so and the good thing about this is every single one of these has a has a number so I can go on if they pick a color like this this pearl right here if they pick this I can go on that house color website click on the search icon and pull up this exact how to mix it um, through House of Colors website. But today we're going to be mixing up the paint for this tank um, that I got prepped out and uh, we're going to make up some pearl white. Really easy, nothing really crazy. It is a tri-coat color so we're going to be mixing the base as well as the tri-coat, um, the mid-coat is what it's called. Um, we're going to be using a dry pearl on that and some nebula. Um, pretty much is replacement of SG100 so not too bad but I got the bank mixing right now I'll kind of guys get you guys kind of focused on the it's my scale we're gonna be mixing everything on this scale right here so if I can get you guys in the right zoom so so with the with these collar decks since I'm making a dry pearl I can go in here there's actually a table of contents right here. It'll tell me exactly how to make this dry pearl. Um, I've already picked out a dry pearl. I've had it for a long time. It's something I use often, make some pearl white. It comes out pretty cool. I think it's like gunmetal or something like that. So, but first is first. Um, we're gonna get the sales scale set up. We got two mixing cups. I use the PPS system. This is the version two. Uh, the adapters for your guns are a little bit different. This just makes it easier. That way you can mix it. You know, you even got the, 
ratios on the side of the cup if you wanted to use those as well. Um, and it seals, and you can put a stopper in it and protect your paint from drying out, um, make it last a little bit longer. So these are really nifty. I, they're a little bit more expensive than just using your uh, the regular standard aluminum cup that comes with the guns when you buy them, but this makes it a lot easier cleanup um, as well as protects your paint longer so you don't have to dump it out or you don't have to buy um, uh, cans to put your extra paint in. So really, really nice. So first of all, we're gonna put the, put them on there. And you always want to, you always want to zero out your scale when you first start. Reason being is you want everything to be even. So with this, uh, mixing the white, it's it's pretty easy. It's probably the easiest thing to mix for you guys first come first come around um, if you ever never have mixed paint before. But um, everything is pretty much just in ratios. Um, with how's the color line, they're all stuff that is pretty much two to one when you're dealing with uh, reducing their paints. Um, if you get into the Chrysler colors, they'll actually break it down. Like I said, if you go to their website, they'll show you how to break down each of those and how to put the effects packs in them. But we're mix the base color first, which is just pretty much base white, and then we're, we're gonna be reducing it two to one. We got just white, plain white, nothing crazy. And this is the base color. So I'm going to use slow reducer with this. So it went up to 100 grams. Now we're going to do 50 of the reducer. It's two to one. And that's that. That's plain old white. Pretty easy, right? I'll save that over there. We're going to put the cap in it. Get it on there nice and tight. These are the little caps. Cap it off. And there you have your plain white. And what that's going to do, this is going to be the first thing we put over that gas sink that we prepped out. Now for the pearls. Like I said, you want to put your cup on zero it out and then with this is going to be a little bit different we're going to be using a trans neb um, still a two to one when you reduce a trans neb but according to the the chart with your dry pearl um, going over white you want to put one to two teaspoons of dry pearl in it and i'll show you how to measure that out how i do it um, really you can custom make you can put as much as you want on there if you want to do one coat usually with uh, mid coats you usually do three coats um, if you wanted to speed up the process and actually make it a little bit more bolder, you could put more in it to your liking. You can kind of just mess around with it. Obviously, if you're doing a project and you got to paint more than one panel, you're going to have to record everything you do um, just to make sure that when you come back to you, you know how much you put on there, how much you mix. Because, you know, down the road, a customer might get in a wreck, you know, and might want rock chips or something fixed on their car. And you're going to have to have documentation of what you actually put in there if you're actually making a custom, custom color. So we'll go ahead and get the transneb going. Like I said, it's two to one.
Got it at 60, zero back out. Get some reducer. And you're gonna go to 30. It's close enough. All right, so now that we got our, the base of the mixed up for your mid coat, now it's time for the dry curl. This is the dry pearl I'm going to be using. I've had this for a while. I've used it on many, many jobs. So what I do, it's pretty simple. If you don't have an exact measuring teaspoon cup, I kind of use the bottom of the tray or the top of the, the lid um, to measure it out. Um, this is almost two teaspoons. And you want to kind of put a little bit like that. Me, with me spraying this, I'm not, this is my own project, this is not anybody's gas tank. I can literally mix up however much I want in this. You know, put that in there. Now, the pearl's ready to go. The mid coat is done if you wanted to stop there, but I don't. I want to actually grab a special effects um, from my my bank over here and throw a little bit of that, give it a little bit, a little bit of sparkle. Now with me, I just usually, I've got a almost I've got every FX you can almost have with this system so I just go through and find one that I actually like this is kind of like a silver FX now you don't put this whole this is a pint you put barely any in it um, you just go towards your liking um, I don't think I'm going to use this one with them I'm going to go back and pick a different one probably use like a snow white Grab the Snow White. Crack it open. Take the lid back on it. I always want to, you always want to give these a little bit of a nice shake up because it is kind of set up at the bottom of these cans. These don't have a mixer on them. So you always want to make sure you mix it really, really good. And these, like I said, these are the FX Cosmic Sparkles. Um, this is the Snow White, which will look really, really cool. So it's just, you can barely even tell there's anything in it, but it is a, it is a Snow White. Now I'm just going to put maybe 0.5 grams in this. Or 0.8, whatever. Now we've got our mid coat mixed up. And that's it for mixing a pearl white, a custom pearl white. And that's it. That's how you mix the paint now. We're going to be putting that over this. We're going to do one couple coats probably. Uh, probably put one coat of sealer on this and then a couple coats of the, the base white. And then I'm going to shoot for maybe one to two coats of the mid coat on that. I'm going to be taking this into work and using the boost. So the next video for the continuation of this video probably, you'll see me in the booth.